Now, Sri Lanka's overall money laundering and terrorism financing risk has been rated at medium as per the national assessment done by the Financial Intelligence Unit of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka. This was revealed by the Financial Intelligence Unit of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka via the publication of the sanitized report of the 2021-2022 National Risk Assessment on Money Laundering and Terrorism Financing. The Financial Intelligence Unit of Sri Lanka published the sanitized report on the 2021-2022 National Risk Assessment of Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing, which was developed based on the assessment conducted by the Financial Intelligence Unit of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka, together with public and private stakeholders. The National Risk Assessment identified drug trafficking, bribery and corruption, customs-related offences including laundering of trade-based proceeds as the most prevalent predicate offences where money laundering threat was rated as medium-high. Fraud, robbery, environmental and natural resource crimes were reported to have a medium-level money laundering threat. Human smuggling or trafficking, tax offences, illegal unreported and unregulated fishing-related unlawful activities were assessed as having a medium-low-level money laundering threat while lower threat was observed for counterfeiting of currency. Further, the assessment identified the money laundering risk of the financial and designated non-financial businesses and professionals. Further, the assessment identified the money laundering risk of the financial and designated non-financial businesses and professionals. Accordingly, in the informal money remitters sector, the risk is high. In the real estate sector, banking sector and in finance companies, the risk is medium high. Money value transfer service providers, stockbrokers, primary dealers, casinos, dealers in precious metals and stones, notaries and lawyers were reported to have a medium level threat. Meanwhile, accountants, trust and company service providers and insurance service providers were observed to have a medium low level threat of money laundering. The Financial Intelligence Unit said a strong political commitment is critical to address the national anti-money laundering and counter-financial terrorism plan. It was also stated that by better understanding the current risk environment, Respective stakeholders from now onwards can effectively allocate more resources to high-risk areas to safeguard the integrity of Sri Lanka's financial system.